All right, we're gonna do Code Veronica. I've been waiting for this one. This is like one of my favorite like Resident Evil games. Like my top. This is like in like my top like Resident Evil. This is this is like the game that needs to get remade. This game needs a remake. Oh, there we go. Resident Evil. I'm like, what the hell? The American Midwestern town, Raccoon City, has been completely decimated due to the T virus outbreak that was instigated by the international corporation Umbrella. Claire Redfield who arrived in Raccoon City to search for her lost brother, Chris, and a rookie police officer, Leon S. Kennedy, managed to escape from the city. But their ordeal was only a prelude of things to come. Three months later... Identification number is WKD4496. <sighs> Welcome to your new home. Her name is Claire Redfield. We caught her trespassing in our Paris Lab facility ten days ago. She apparently infiltrated the complex looking for her lost brother, Chris Redfield, one of the surviving members of RPD's famous STARS teams. Oh, this looks terrible. It's got 
got some ugly lips. <laughs> forces team. But in any case, this prison's been taken over. Troops have been wiped out. What are you saying? You're free to leave the complex. But you may as well know, you have no chance of getting off this island. And what about you? What are you going to do? Don't worry about me. Circle to run. Quick turn around a circle. Okay. X is the action button. I'll need some hemostatic medicine. All right. Well, welcome to Code Veronica. Probably, I think, one of the more underrated games and one of the best games that Capcom ever released. A lot of people give this uh, game a lot of shit because they say it's, oh, it's so hard. But it's just more of a challenge. Alright, inventory is what? Okay. Okay, give me my shotgun shells, or my handgun shells. Damn it. R1 and X, circles run, quick turn around, inventory, map, okay.
Don't shoot. Who are you? Huh? You're not a zombie. Well, great. Wait right there. I'm coming over. Uh, sorry about that little misunderstanding. But I thought you were another one of those monsters. Shut up. Make one wrong move and I'll shoot. Relax, beautiful. I said I was sorry. My name's Steve. I was a prisoner on this island. And I'm guessing you're not from Umbrella either. No, I'm Claire. Claire Redfield. Claire? Hmm. Nice. I'll remember that. Hey, I heard there's an airport around here. And once I find it, I can finally escape from this crazy island. Well, I'll see ya. Hey, wait up! I don't want you following me, lady. You'll only slow me down. Well, Steve's a prick. Alright. I'm gonna get used to the controls over time, so I might make some wrong mistakes with the buttons. Okay. Nothing over here. Always get herbs. that someone didn't finish their soup it's still a bit warm take the prison map yes nothing useful here Air and toilet but no this is one of my favorite resident evil games it's just such a good game it's just limited inventory it's a challenge tank controls fixed angle it was like the last, like, true good, it was like the last truly good Resident Evil game in this style. And I don't even know if I have the space for it, I which I don't. So I'm gonna wait on that. Once I get the space, I'll come back and pick them up.
Okay, they are all dead. Please deposit any metallic items you have in the security box. Ah, uh, fuck. <laughs> And I can't grab any of this. Ooh, this is great. Use this against the tyrant, and it like completes his health. Can't grab that either. I can't grab anything in this room. Chris Redfield. What are you doing here? Chris Redfield. Is he a relative of yours or something? You mean my brother? Ah, your siblings. Well, it seems your brother is under surveillance by Umbrella. What? I've got to contact Leon and tell him to let my brother know he's being monitored. It's a good thing I have access to an outside connection from here. Well, that file shows the latitude and longitude of this place. <laughs> Why don't you send your brother the coordinates and ask him to come help? Thanks. I'll do that. Hey, I was just kidding. There's no way he could get here, even if he is your brother. Yes, he can. I'm sure of it. No way. He won't come. You'll just end up disappointed if you rely on others. Believe me, I know. What was that all about? Uh, just a little case of stinging the vagina. Yes. So I will take the Hawk album. And then I will also change the ink ribbon. And then I will save. Flip this fucker on. I will put you... Wait. Oh. Yeah, you did it.
On est les pieds. Yes, I know. Good God Almighty. The security box. Thank you for your continued support and for using our products. This time we have gathered our most advanced technologies and have succeeded in creating the unique anti-metal detection alloy, TG01. Ooh. Cannot be detected by any metal detectors. Cannot be pictured by... Rones of... At the immigration check. Lightweight yet durable. We plan to develop various weapons utilizing this innovative new alloy. We have enclosed a sample for your review. We look forward to hearing from you regarding possible business opportunities. Metal Industries Co. Chief Development Planning, Carl Redhill. Must be a cousin to a Redfield. <laughs> Well, thanks, Carl. Chris Redfield, Carl Redhill. Must be related. Alright, 
trying to fucking get the hell out of here. Just gotta hug the wall. I'll take that. Take that. Take that. And I will leave your ass. Oh, bad doggies. Go back to sleep. Out of here. was on that side. God, I still do, I still don't understand why they fucking ever put like I can't go up the stairs. I got to press X. I don't understand why they ever put that in the fucking game. So Take that. Give me that. Thank <laughs> you. 
I don't care about the books, I want the guy to be alone. Thank you. I didn't know this until like my s millionth playthrough, but if you equip the lighter, if you go in here, the bats will stay away from you. Yes, I will. NTC zero three nine four. to be remade so bad. 
the controls. It's, just, it's a great game, I love it. But it just does not hold up at all. American Wolf. American Wolf pistol cartridges. 9mm by 19. Ooh. There's really not a whole lot I can do. I wonder what like a world record speed run of this is. It's a longer game. Yeah! Help me! Steve? Fucking Steve. Always doing shit that he shouldn't do. Steve is suffering. Let him suffer. Huh. Huh. That was that too was close. Too close. But, I but I found something, something. thanks to <laughs> you. <sighs> Looks cool, it's huh? Oh, I need those. Give them to me. You gotta be kidding. I found it, and I'm keeping it. Fine. Let's make a deal. I'll trade you for something fully automatic. See you around, Claire. Adios. 
Hey, wait, Steve! Are we just gonna act like he just pointed a gun at her and it was just all cool? Like, get that thing out of my face. interfere with my operation. What are you talking about? You let yourself be captured so you could lead your people to this base. I have no idea what you're babbling about. You don't fool me. I am Alfred Ashford, commander of this base. Oh? You must be one of Umbrella's lower level officers if you're in command of a backwater base like this one. How dare you! The Ashford family is among the world's first and finest. My grandfather is one of the original founders of Umbrella Inc. Now tell me, why have you attacked this installation? Attacked? Shortly after you arrived, my base was attacked. You must have informed your people of its location. I still don't follow you. I really don't know anything about that. Unacceptable! How can you deny it? My base has been destroyed. And thanks to you, the experimental T-Virus was released, creating countless zombies and monsters. Tell me, who do you work for? Who sent you? <laughs> Have it your way, then. You're just a rat in a cage anyway. I'll be sure to keep you entertained before I dispose of you. <laughs> oh, man, that guy is something. He definitely needs a big rework with this remake. I'm sure they're going to do it. I just filled out a Capcom survey yesterday and uh, answered all their questions. And then at the end, it said, do you want a game remade? And I was like, yeah, in all caps, remake code Veronica. And then I guess it was like super trendy on Twitter. So hopefully they're going to get the message because... I would like to know what the fuck is on this side of the door. Like, what's on the other side of that? It just so happens that all of this just came collapsing down. You know, and I just think that they could really, like, make Code Veronica, like, the game that it was, like, meant to be. Oh my god. Oh. I cannot stop fucking yawning. Because 
I get the side pack. You know I love these. One, so two, four, six, eight, you can get ten items. Okay. Oh my god, I can always stop yawning. I don't think there's anything beside that door that I can get to because I'm going to need a part for it. That's really all it takes is you just got to get a good amount of distance between you and these zombies and you will play this game with flying fucking colors. Some parts of the game though are rather difficult. Like those bandit snatchers or whatever the hell they're called. Those guys are a pain in the fucking ass. Uh, 
where the other go to. Two are right over here. I just want the ammo. Thanks. And then I just usually leave those guys. They don't really. You don't ever really have to come through here. I mean, why individually put every single, uh, like, thing through there? You know, it just makes sense to put all three crests in there when you have all three of them instead of just making individual trips. So I just leave those guys. Pick and choose your battles. That's like the emphasis of Resident Evil. Pick and choose. Only waste them on like main hallways, main corridors, main, any like high traffic main way to go. Side rooms, fuck that. a fucking blink of an eye on this guy. That's more of like a Chris thing. part of having a fixed angle you have no idea where the, the fuck they are and you just kind of like hope and pray that they're like hitting you I am however no I'll just
The emergency door lock system in the biology experiment room cannot be released can be released with the four digit pass number. I hope you haven't forgotten about that already. I've just received an order from the system administrator requesting us to change the pass number periodically. What bothers me is that you often lose important memos, pass numbers, or even chemicals. So in an attempt to solve that problem, I came up with an idea. You know the red human skeleton picture at the back of biology experiment room? I have decided to use that number on the picture as the pass number. If you happen to lose the memo, just look at the picture. Well, I don't think you would ever need to use the emergency pass number anyway, but just in case, you know. Take it easy, Mr. Careless. Careless fucker. Uh -oh. Finally, Christ. still dripping. It might have been used often until recently. 
asana. There's a lot of hot air inside. Well, that's what asana is, you know. These are great for the bandit snatchers or whatever the fuck they're called. Oh, hey there, kitty. Oh, hi. Hi there. Kitty wants my chair. stream here. I am starting to get very, very tired. So we're going to save. And then we'll continue on on the next episode. So, how long have we been going for? About an hour? Okay. Well, we're doing pretty good for being an hour in. I'm pretty happy with where we're at amount of resources that we've been able to get so far as well um so we're gonna pick up on the next episode with the bandit snatchers and the submachine guns for steve and we'll get the lugers and then we'll just take it from there all right thanks guys